Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Chad with CV Shave, and thank you very much for joining me for today's face shave. It's going to be a vintage style shave and featuring a new product or a new product to me, I should say. So before we get into that, let's get into the holiday of the day. Today's holiday of the day is National Clam Chowder Day. That's right, folks. National Clam Chowder Day. If you've never had clam chowder, you've got to try it at least once. Clam chowder is a staple food here in New England, anywhere in you cross the New England border, I swear to God, there's a sign that says, get your clam chowder or it'll be a fine. Anyway, I love clam chowder, but it's got to be thick. Like a nice, thick chowder. Chowder, it's, it can't be runny and kind of soupy, almost minestrone. It's got to be, it's got to have a lot of clams in it. And it's got to have, uh, it's got to be thick. So anyway, that said, that's the holiday of the day. Let's move on to the rest of the shave, which is really why you folks are here. So we are featuring, as you probably already saw, some uh, vintage, uh, from the thumbnail, some vintage products. We have a Wade and Butcher razor right here, 1800s style razor, all stropped, ready to go. We have 1800s aftershave style aftershave. This is not from the 1800s. And to go with that, we're doing Williams Mug Soap, also 1800s. 1840s to be exact. Uh, I just wanted to give this a shot because I wanted to do a vintage style shave today and I have soaking. Now this is not a vintage style brush. I do not own a vintage style brush. However, back in the day they did not use synthetic knots and this is a badger knot so we're going to go with that. It's about as close to vintage style as I can get. Now the bowl. Here's the bowl. This is what I mean, people bowl lathered back in the day. So this is a bowl that's made by a very special artisan, my daughter. CD shaven right there. It's got black. It's one of my favorite colors on the inside. She's got another one of my favorite colors, blue, on the outside. And then like a kind of a pinkish tonish to kind of break it all up, uh, which I absolutely love. And it's got this little divot on the bottom you can hold your fingers into while holding onto the bowl and lathering away. That is what we're going with today. So we're going to take out the Williams soap mug. Mug soap. This is a little old. It's not quite as white as it used to be. But hard as a rock. So we're going to go ahead and uh, soak this. <laughs> we're going to soak this, this uh, soap in the water for a few minutes. And then we'll load it into the brush. Take the brush back in the water while doing so. So a lot of people uh, have asked me about wet shaving in the past uh, recently. Uh, some newbies have said, why am I doing this? Why do I want it? Why do you suggest I go with this style of shaving? So, uh, well, without further ado, take a look at this. People often ask why the urge to shave with vintage style equipment. There is no straight answer to that. Some like the nostalgic use of the razor. Some enjoy slowing life down for a bit, taking their time during the process. Some are just in it for the switch to shaving soaps from the aerosol-based canned goo that we are all accustomed to seeing nowadays. But all have one thing in common. We all want a better shave. An 1800s-style straight razor an 1800 style shaving soap and a brush featuring a shave knot that tips the hat to a shave from vintage times. And a shave bowl, which was also used in earlier times, is made by a modern artisan. She took her time and painstakingly covered each section with a heat treated paint. The porcelain bowl that she used features a recessed bottom that allows the hand to grasp it with lessening a chance for an unfortunate drop. After being fired at a roasting 220 degrees, the end result is a perfect gift for a very grateful father looking for a vintage style shave. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We've had this soap soaking in the bowl. As you can see, now I'm just gonna remove this soap and I'm gonna throw it in my hand. This is how I lather this soap. I all, this soap has just always been the way I've done it. I've always palm loaded it. And uh, 
and then I go ahead and, and make a lather in a bowl. So we're just going to load the heck out of the brush, like so. Load the brush, and then I can make a nice lather in the bowl. Now, some people might say, what's the point? Why don't you just go right into a face lather? Uh, because, there you go, it's nice and loaded. And I want to add some uh, water to it. And this soap, as vintage as it is, is not known for being the most nourishing. However, it is vintage style. I do own a puck of it because for the strict sake of just having it in my shape, then I think I've used it once. I'll dry it off. Let that completely dry on its own. And now we've got the brush in the bowl and we're gonna go ahead and hang on to this bad boy, add a little bit of water. Actually, this soap requires a lot of water from what I, my experience. And we're gonna go ahead and make a lather. Oops. Now, I've been wanting to do a vintage style shave for a while. Some people have, you know, might say to me, well, why didn't you go with a different type of soap or, um, because I just, I just been wanting to do a vintage style, like a vintage theme shave. And, uh, Still a little bubbly, you can see. So we'll just keep going. Put the soap right back in that, that comes out right back in there. Uh, so I just went, wanted to go with something a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, themed differently. So a little different than what I'm what I'm used to. So as far as using the uh, the upper scale stuff. There we go. We take some out of that, out of the uh, bowl. And there we go. Williams Mug Soap. We'll do the, uh, we'll do the first pass. Oops. Drop that. We'll do the first pass on camera, and then we'll uh, we'll move to the. It's about as good as I think I'm going to get on that. It's actually not that bad, to be honest with you. All right. First pass with the grain. I love Wade and Butcher or my Wade and Butcher razors.
actually was going to feature a razor that I recently acquired. It's a wedge style. Uh, it is not a weed and butcher that I know of. I never shade with a wedge. Not a wedgy wedge. I know you guys can't really see this part, but I need to use the mirror for this, so I'm going to take my ear off. Yeah. Williams Mug Soap. Very lovely. Two. Back in the day, that's all they had. Yeah, that uh, I have to shave quick because this let this. Layer's not going to last. So my daughter made this soap, excuse me, made this, this mug, this bowl. As a gift for me, for Christmas. And I've been wanting to give it a shot. And I thought, B 
featuring it on a video, my way of saying thank you. She's always been a big supporter of me. And my channel. I'll probably feature this bowl a little bit more in some shaving videos. All right, third pass. I know I said I was going to go right through the whole thing, but do a first pass and then kind of fast forward. But some of you seem to have liked the shave, so we'll go with that. And then those of you that don't, you want to fast forward through it, you're more than welcome to. That's really thinning out. All right, we'll do this. Williams, you really got to pull that skin. Because there's not a ton of slickness. I mean, it works. Don't get me wrong. Ish.
I dare try against the grain. What the hell? We'll see how she does. Yeah, a little bit of soap left in here. I have zero irritation for what it's worth. Let's go against the grain. Doesn't even really have a scent to it, Williams. It's kind of a no, it just doesn't. Hmm, looks like a little bit of the paint came off on her bowl there. Still, not bad for twelve. Actually, that's not from the bowl. I don't know what that's from. I'm shaving in the kitchen sink, so Lord knows. bad shave zero irritation and zero residual slickness <laughs> zero post shave slickness none <laughs> eh whatever here's yep Good shave though, it's all gone. No irritation at all, feels good. Need a quick clean up. Posting the video and we're gonna be out the door, but can't really finish up without this. So we'll just, a little bit of the, that's what's left. Certainly looks the part. And for years, it was the part. It still is. I mean, there are people I know that do use this stuff regularly. I don't need the others. I use what, what has always worked for me. Okay, I don't care if you use dial. Whatever works for you. Dry the tips of the badger hair off a little bit from our vintage shave. 
wipe the handle down. Let's take the uh, razor, give it a dunk. Wipe that down a little bit. I throw a little oil on this later, just there you go. Now I used to leave, I also like just take a paper towel. You can also use a um, tissue paper as well. And I dry off the inside of the scales. Just like this. Tuck it up in there. Just to get the droplets of water out of there. See? And then I'll strop and oil that a little bit later. And let's go ahead and it's time for this. The bowl is rinsed out. It's just laying here, ready to go. The next one. Clubman Pinode. Not my favorite aftershave at all. It's got kind of, to me, it, I don't know, it kind of has a powdery note to it, I guess. It's just, it's not one of my favorites. I, I very rarely use it. I like having it in the den uh, for nostalgic reasons. And see, this, this puck is actually almost dry completely. Um, so, but that's the shave. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me. I just kind of wanted to touch on the vintage part of it and talk about, you know, us as wet shavers, because basically, you know, we're, we're explorers, right? Because the hobbyists are the explorers because we're always in search for something You're in search for that, you know, the, the softer knot, or, you know, maybe the, the oldest razor or maybe the sharpest razor. Maybe you're looking for the best shave soap, you know, the latest and greatest, always looking for something better than what you have. And sometimes what you have, what you need, it's right there in front of you. Stick with the vintage sometimes, right? Okay, that is a lesson from today, CD shaving. I am Chad. Folks, thank you very much for joining me. I appreciate you subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do so by hitting the subscription button. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up as usual. If you have any questions, please comment below. And if you have any questions about any of my videos, feel free to send me an email at murphy.chad.d at gmail.com. Or I'm also on Instagram, cd underscore shaven. You can find me there. And I'm on Facebook as well. So please reach out to me, folks. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm Chad with CD Shave, and hope you guys and girls have a great rest of the day. If you shave, have a great shave, and we'll see you all in the next video.